Uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, Proflan YouTube channel. In this particular video, we're going to have a discussion of um, what did you really need to know in order to do the IGCC exam November paper of 2024, paper two. This paper is usually out of um, uh, 70 marks, and um, we need to check what are the key concepts that were tested and uh, the approach that you were supposed to use in order to do this paper this paper uh, usually take a total of um, one hour 15 minutes and uh, the overview of the paper is that you are provided with some formula in the first page and then the questions follows there after uh, we are going to have a deep discussion on the concept that you are in don't hunt and what you're supposed to answer uh, if similar and related questions are asked if you are new to Proplan YouTube channel, consider subscribing so that anytime I'm going to upload another tutorial, you'll be notified. Let's dive in and get to see the first question. The students were greeted with the topic of um, radioactivity and um, I think most of the students really smiled when they saw these questions because they were kind of straightforward. You can see the first question, which of these is the same as beta particles? Remember beta particles are fast moving electrons beta particles are fast moving electrons so in that way you are to say these are electrons uh which of this is the same as alpha particles alpha particles are just represented but the helium nucleus complete the nuclear equation and what you want to remember there is that the what is on the left hand side should balance with what's on the right hand side and since uh alpha is uh, helium which is 4 2 then since we have two here this has to be 93 so that 93 plus 2 will be 95. after answering that question we need to move uh, to electrostatic charge and you need to understand that materials are judged when a charge is transferred due to friction so if uh, this uh, rod is wrapped against the cloth due to friction electrons will be transferred to the rod and the rod will become negatively charged because it has more electrons uh, then the cloth is going to remain positively charged so explain how the cloth has become positively charged due to friction electrons are transferred to the rod so when electrons are transferred to the rod and we have more electrons it means the cloth is going to have uh, more pro uh, positives uh, positively charged so it, more positive charge so it become positively charged um part b we are told that uh, the negatively charged rod makes contact with the metal object connected to the ground there is an ammeter in series with the object explain why the ammeter shows a current for the short period of time remember when there is an earth electron will flow to the ground or electron will flow to the earth because electron flows through the earth uh, through the metal to the earth then the current will stop the, the reading will will be zero there will be no reading when electrons are, have stopped flowing so this is what you are supposed to say as far as that question was concerned. Now, moving to um, Roman 3, state the formula linking charge transferred, current and time. You are, you are supposed to say charge equals IT. Um, the mean current in this place on the ammeter is 6.8 times 10 to the power negative 6 amperes. The current is 3.7 milliseconds. We were supposed to calculate the charge transferred. So to calculate the charge transferred, you need to remember that milli is 10 negative 3. And working it out, you are to get 2.5 times 10 to the power negative 8. Uh, moving further, state the principle of conservation of momentum. This is the question that is... Uh, uh, quite straightforward, but I don't understand why most students confuse. How many of you train law of conservation of momentum and the, the principle of moment? So mostly students confuse that and uh, you have to be very careful when you are going to answer questions related to that in, the, in your coming exams. Total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision provided there is no force at no external force. The diagram shows object A moving in the opposite direction. The arrow show the direction and velocity of the, of the two objects. So if this object is moving this way, this one is going to move this way. So before collision, we are going to answer questions related there. 
before collision object A has a momentum of 39 kg meters per second after collision object A and B strike sticks together um, so meaning if they are sticking together their final velocity and um, stop stick together and stop moving so their momentum will be zero final velocity for these two objects will be zero so state the magnitude and momentum of b before collision that will be negative 39 kg meter per second because it was moving in the opposite direction yeah and this one since they are, the, the momentum will cancel out and they will stop then it will be that particular value state the formula linking momentum mass and velocity we know momentum is mass times velocity that's the formula you are to write at that given point give the direction or rather i can get the velocity of a before collision so before collision it was having a momentum of 10, 39 so its mass is 8.1 divide both sides we're going to get our answers 4.8 the time taken for collision is 0 0.56 0 0.56 use that 0 0.56 um calculate the average force something that you need to remember in this kind of questions is that impulse is equal to the change in momentum yeah uh if we are talking about uh, object a initially before they collided it was having a momentum of um, of uh, 39. After collision, its momentum became zero because the two objects stopped after they collided, right? So, which means that the change in momentum would be just 39 because the momentum was 39. They collided, the new momentum became zero. So, the change in momentum, we shall take it as 39. So, if we know that impulse is equal to change in momentum, then we can now divide both sides by the time, and then change in momentum over time will give us the force, and that is going to be 69.6. .6. Um, give the direction and magnitude of force B from A. Uh, remember the force the magnitude will be the same according to newton's um, third law of motion for every action that is equal and opposite reaction so if the force is 69.6 uh, the force of b will be 69.6 as well but the direction will be to the right the force will be to the right the direction of the force will be to the right if you are new to Proplan YouTube channel, consider subscribing so that anytime I'm going to upload another tutorial, you'll be notified. Yeah, draw an arrow to show the position of the sun. So we are talking about the, um, the HL diagram, the Hensprang Russell diagrams. And um, let me just take you through the HL diagram. In this case, Now, anytime you are given uh, the HR diagram, you need to understand that there is uh, this region in the middle here represent the main sequence. And this is where most of the stars are currently, such as the sun is in the stable stage right now. So uh, if we are asked the issue about the sun will be somewhere in this region. Then a star will move to the red giant. This represents the red giant. But this was not given. I included it to show you that above the red giant, we have red super giant. And then below the main sequence, we have the region called the white dwarf. The white dwarf will come in this region here. Now, temperature. Oh, as you move to the left, we have red stars and the yellow stars, which are the cool stars. But these stars, which are close here, are the blue stars uh which are very 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 hot so uh magnitude tells us the brightness so we shall talk region down here uh, less bright stars and stars up here will be very bright so if we are talking about star a star that can be in this region this star here will be a star which is cool because it's on the red, uh, red part but it's a bright star uh because it's on the upper part of the absolute magnitude yeah so that's something that you need to understand uh as far as um hr and diagram is concerned also you need to understand what we mean by absolute magnitude uh, magnitude
and uh, apparent magnitude let's see the question that was asked uh, the question was asked here draw a cross to show the position of the sun the position of the sun was uh, actually basically somewhere here in the main sequence uh, see the next question that also is asked in approximately 4 billion years the sun will enter next stage of evolution remember a sun is a low mass star if it's a low mass star it means it will move to the red giant stage so it will move to this region here red giant stage and uh, next is um draw a circle um where the sun will go after that evolution so we shall if you have not subscribed subscribe so that when i'm going to upload the second part of this you'll be notified see you in the next video Thank you.